Middle East, a room in a brothel. Enter. Panda, Bod, and Bolt. Bolt? Uh, search the market narrowly. Mightily and is full of gallants. We lost too much money this March for being too wenchless. We would never sell much out of creatures. We have a poor three and they can do no more than they can do. Therefore, let's have fresh ones. Whatever we pay for them, if there be not a conscience to be used in every trade, we shall never prosper. Thou sayest true. Tis not a bringing up of poor bastards. Aye, I'll go search the market. Uh, three or four thousand gold coins were a pretty proportion to live quietly, and so give over. Why to give over, I pray you? Is it a shame to get when we are old? Oh, the credit comes not in like the commodity, nor the commodity wages not with the danger. Therefore, the sore terms we stand upon with the gods will be strong with us for giving over. <laughs> Come! Are the sort offend as well as we? As well as we? Aye, and better too. We offend worse. Neither is our profession any trade. It's no calling. Now, but here comes both. Come your ways. Uh, my masters, you say she is a virgin. Oh, sir, we doubt it not. Master! I've gone through for this piece, you see, if you like her so. If not, I've lost my earnest. Bolt, has she any qualities? She has good face, speaks well, and has excellent good clothes. <laughs> no further necessity of quality can make her be refused. What's her price, Bolt? Cannot be baited a coin of a thousand pieces. <laughs> Come, my masters. You will have your money presently. <laughs> Wife, take her in. Instruct her what she has to do. <laughs> Bolt, take you the marks of her. The color of her hair, complexion, height, age, with warrants of her virginity. Such a maiden head with no cheap thing. Give us done as I command you. Performance shall fall. Oh, alack, that Leon was so slack, so slow. He should have struck, not spoke. Nor that those pirates, not enough barbarous, should overborn throw me to seek my mother. Oh, why lament you, pretty one, that I am pretty? Come, the gods have done their part in you. I accuse them not. You are light into my hands. Or you are like to live. Oh, the more my fault to scrape his hands where I were like to die. Aye, and you shall live in pleasure. No! Yes, indeed shall you. With a gentleman of all fashions, you shall fare well. You shall have the difference of all complexions. <laughs> what? Do you stop your ears? Are oh, you a woman? Who would you have me be, and I be not a woman? Oh, an honest woman, or not a woman. Mary, whip thee, Gosling. Come, I think I shall have something to do with you. You're a young, foolish sapling, and must be bowed as I would have you. Oh, the gods defend me! <laughs> if it please the gods to defend you by men, then men must comfort you, men must feed you. Bolt's return. Now, sir, hast thou cried her through the market? Cried her almost to the number of her hairs. I've drawn her picture with my voice. And I prithee, tell me, how dost thou find the inclination of the people, especially of the younger sorts? Faith, they listen to me as they would have hearkened to their father's testaments. Well, we shall have him here tomorrow with his best ruff on. Tonight, tonight. But, mistress, do you know the French knight that cowers of the ham? Who? Monsieur Veroles? Aye, he. He offered to cut a caper at the proclamation and swore he would see her tomorrow. Well, well. As for him, I know he will come in our shadow to scatter his crowns in the sun. 
If we had of every nation a traveler, we should lodge them with this sign. Pray you, come hither a while. You have fortunes coming upon you. Mark me, you must cease to do that fearfully, which you commit willingly. To weep, to live, as ye do mix pity in your lovers, so then that pity begets you a good opinion, and opinion a mere profit. I understand you not. Oh, take her home, mistress, take her home. These blushes of hers must be quenched with some present practice. Thou sayest true, I faith. Faith, some do, some do not. But, mistress, if I bargain for the joint. Thou mayest cut a morsel off this bit. Come, young one, let the manner of your garments well. Ah, by my faith, I shall not be changed yet. Bolt, spend thou that in the town. Report what a sojourner we have. You lose nothing by custom. See what a paragon she is. I warrant you, mistress. Thunder shall not so awake the beds of eels as my giving out her beauty. Stir up. Oh. The lily inclined oh, to bring home some tonight. <laughs> oh. Follow your way, follow me. Oh, if fires be hot or knives be sharp or water deep, untied I still my virgin not will keep. Diana, in my purpose. What have we to do with Diana? Hey, you will you go with us? A room in the governor's house. Enter Leon and Dionysa. Why are you foolish? Can it be undone? Oh, Dionysa, such a piece of slaughter the sun and moon ne'er looked upon. I think you'll turn child again. Were I the chief lord of all this spacious world, I'll give it to undo the deed. O oh, lady, yet a princess, O oh, villain Leonine, whom thou hast poisoned to, what canst I say when noble Pericles shall demand his child? That she is dead. Oh. Nurses are not to face the foster and are ever to preserve. She died at night. I'll say so. Who can cross it? Unless you play the pious innocent for an honest act to be crowned, she died by foul play. No go to. Well, well, of all the faults beneath the heavens, the gods do like this work. Be one of those who think the petty runs of Parsis will fly hence and open this to Pericles. I do shame to think of what a noble strain you are. How coward of spirit. To such proceeding he did not flow from honorable sources. Be it so then. Yet none does know but you how she came dead. For none can know, Leonine being gone. She did disdain my daughter and stood between her and her fortune. None would look on her but cast their gazes on Marina's face. Whilst ours was blurted at and held a drab wench, not worth the time of day. It pierced me through. And though you call my course unnatural, your child not well loving, I find it grieves me as an unkind kindness. Perform to your soul, daughter. Heaven forgive it. And as for Pericles, what should he say? We wept after her hurt, and yet we mourn. Her monuments all are finished, and her epitaph in gold and glittering characters expresses a general praise to her. And care in us at whose expense tis done. Thou art like the harpy, which to betray dust with thine angel's face, see with thine eagle's talent. You are like one that superstitiously doth swear to the god that winter kills the flies. Yet, I know you'll do as I advise. 